Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson. And in this lesson we're going to see how we can send logs from our Windows endpoint to QRadar. So I already have uh, WinCollect uh, here installed from IBM. I'm going to provide a download link in the description for you to download as well. So let's go ahead and open the installer. Do next, accept the license advanced, see that everything is good here. Let's do next. And in here, we're going to choose a second option and type in our keyword or IP. Okay, like this. And then we do next, do install. And the installation is finished. And once we have that, we can basically go ahead and uh, you, can, you can use your Windows search bar to search for IBM we collect console, open that up in the browser. And we basically see the interface here, right? So uh, as we can see right now, it's going to be empty. We can uh, search around in the agent settings. This is the name of our desktop, right? Uh, this is the IP of our console. The port is for syslog 514, right? And uh, this is the agent. And we have local sources. You can uh, also create a new one if you want uh, uh, to create additional local or remote sources. But for this video, uh, we're going to be focusing on our local machine. So if you go to log viewer here, we can see some statistics about, um, about our uh, logs and how it interacts with QRadar. So as we can see here, it started to process events, right? So this is good. So if you open up our uh, QRadar and log in, I will show you how we can see the logs that are coming from our uh, endpoint. If you go to log, log activity right at the top, right? And we'll do last five minutes. And you can see that all of those logs are uh, health metrics and system notifications. So I'm not really interested in those kind of logs. So I can just go ahead, right click on the health metrics and filter on log source is not health metrics, which will exclude those. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and let's do that for system notification as well. And basically for every, uh, every log source that we are not interested in, let's take a look at this one see what we have here. This is an unknown event. Okay, so this is just a statistics about uh, yeah, about the wing collect, I think. So we can go ahead and drop this as well. And we can see that we don't have any other logs left. So in order to actually see if, uh, if our uh, configuration succeeded, we can go ahead to admin. Go ahead to the admin tab, and we can see that we have something called uh, log source management here. Yeah, log sources here. So let's go ahead and open this window. And we can see that we have our uh, Windows endpoint right here, and it's currently set to on, which is good. You can see some uh, statistics about it. I'm going to go uh, a lot more in depth about everything uh, we see here in later videos, but for this purpose, we're just gonna tick uh, this box here and click on, on events right here, which will open a new tab. And we can see all of the events that basically this log source is sending. So as we can see right now, we don't have anything. It usually takes a bit of time to show up here. So I'm just gonna pause uh, the video here and resume once I see some events. Okay, guys, welcome back. And as we can see, we have some events that are starting to show here. Uh, we can see that the log source matches our endpoint name. We have the source IP, we have the destination IP, and we can go to the logs themselves and see the uh, event uh, log here. And again, guys, don't worry, we're going to go much more in depth in later videos. This is just uh, how to uh, configure the the endpoint to send logs to QRadar. So just to make sure it works here. And additionally, you can go back to the IBM WinCollect console. And if you click on local sources and click on the local source that you already have, you can actually change 
what kind of sources you want uh, to be sent. So currently I'm sending application, system and security logs, right? Uh, you can add your sources as well. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. You can change uh, the type, I'm gonna leave it at Windows events. And now another interesting field, field here is you can uh, choose XPath and XPath, you can actually uh, use some kind of a markup language, a tagging language, I think, and specify exactly what kind of uh, logs you want to send. So for example, if you want to exclude uh, certain event IDs or include certain event IDs from certain uh, paths uh, like Sysmon or stuff like that, you can uh, also add them right here. And I'm gonna show that uh, obviously in a later video as well. But for the purpose of this video, we've seen how to send Windows events to QRadar. And in the next video, I'm going to show how to send PFSense logs to QRadar so that we have an additional appliance to work with. So thank you, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.